Hi Tube, I'm Jack, a junior doctor working in London and I finished my core surgical training. If you want to do ear, nose and throat surgery as a specialty, you need to pass the DONS Part 2 OSCE exam before your ST3. That can be either as part of DONS or as part of MRCS ENT. In today's video, I'll explain how to pass the exam in the most efficient way. We'll talk about the structure and syllabus of the examination, which books to use, how to practice, and my opinion on courses. And finally, how to take the first step and book the actual examination. Timestamps are somewhere up here. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored and it's purely my opinion. I'm not going to be revealing questions from the examination. The current information is correct at this time, however things do change. All of the information is from the Intercollegiate MRCS exams website and I've included the link in the description. Essentially the DONS exam is aimed at those wanting to enter ENT higher surgical training or work as a non-consultant grade ENT practitioner. Uh, also if you want to do a GP with a special interest in ENT it's a good diploma to do. The test itself is about three and a half hours long with 28 active stations uh, and there will also be a variable number of rest stations. The exam itself has 23 written short answer questions as well as five clinical stations where you're observed performing tasks. Each of these lasts about seven minutes. Before COVID these were all delivered in one sitting however during COVID the written questions are now sat online at home and the clinical stations are delivered in person, usually a couple of days after the written questions. Even though they allocate seven minutes per question, you don't have to wait seven minutes before moving on to the next question. You get the total in a big block and then you can take as much time as you want. The syllabus itself is outlined on the ISCP website. Essentially, you want to be able to take a focused clinical history and examination uh, of all of the ear, nose and throat areas. And it also tests knowledge about the embryology, anatomy, physiology uh, and microbiology of ear, nose and throat conditions. Now on to some tips to pass the exam. The most useful way to prepare for the examination is to do a rotation in ear, nose and throat surgery. This is because the Don's OSCE tests a lot of practical knowledge that you would learn from being an ear, nose and throat SHO. By doing an ENT rotation of four to six months, it gives you the opportunity to practice all the relevant examinations and also uh, find some registrars who can help you practice and prepare for the exam as well. If you were only to get one book, then I'd recommend the Master Pass book, ENT OSCEs, A Guide to Passing the DONS and MRCS ENT. Link is in the description. I don't get paid anything uh, for it. This is essentially a comprehensive book covering the history, examinations, uh, and also the common uh, written question topics. All of the registrars recommended it to me and it's definitely served me well. Uh, I would recommend taking the master pass book with you to clinic and then when you examine patients try and do it as if you're in the examination itself. Next I used an ENT textbook uh, as a reference book. The one I used was Key Topics in Otolaryngology. It has good coverage of ENT topics aimed at uh, the early years ENT doctor. Also since the written questions are short answer rather than multiple choice I thought it would help to have a little bit more in-depth knowledge. For anatomy, you can use any anatomy book that has a head and neck section. Personally, I used Morandelli's Essential Clinical Anatomy. In addition, I would recommend an anatomy atlas that has prosection photos in. Uh, for me, I used McMinn's Clinical Atlas of Human Anatomy. I've always found that prosections look a bit like mush on the photos, so this is a clear textbook and it labels uh, all of the key structures. Also note, you don't have to buy all of these textbooks. A lot of these I borrowed from uh, my local hospital library. Uh, or I suppose you could borrow from the BMA library as well. When it comes to learning the theoretical knowledge for the exam, my process was essentially to do some questions in the master pass book and then make some flashcards uh, based on answers I got wrong. I've already talked a bit about flashcards in my video on passing the MRCS part A, which I think I'll link somewhere up here. But in summary, I recommend Anki flashcards, uh, which I've used most recently. Also, you can use Brainscape, which I have used in the past as well. Ultimately, it's up to you whether you take a DONS course. Uh, however, I thought that I had enough theoretical knowledge from my books and enough practical knowledge from my ENT rotations uh, that I didn't feel the need to go through a course. However, I think you would benefit from a course if you didn't train in the UK. Uh, and are not familiar with the structure of examinations. So OSCEs have a very particular way of doing things. I think it's good to get some practice at this before the exam. Do note that some core surgical training deaneries will subsidize a preparation course. Right, that's enough talking for now. It's time to go and book the exam. I've included a link to the booking website. If you're looking to do the MRCS Part A as part of the MRCS ENT, see the link up here. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of video and I'll make some more. And feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. See you next time.